Okay, uh, great to be back, guys. So, uh, Ed, let's go. So, I was a single guy for a number of years, and after kind of, you know, wallowing in the abyss of self-pity for a while, I thought to myself, right, well, there's two ways I can get out of this. Either I get back in a relationship, or I get back on the fucking horse, yeah? So, basically, I thought, you know, there's, there's two ways we all know how to do this, really. You've got your kind of, you know, your sort of traditional methods, you know, your, your, your offline stuff, you know, and then you've got the kind of new technological tinders and all that kind of stuff. And as much as that stuff is amazing and has brought a lot of joy to people's lives, I'm an old school kind of guy, yeah? I want to go to bars, I want to see people face to face and to be honest with you if she's going to reject me she can look me in the fucking eye while she does it and walk away with a drink I've just bought yeah you know she ain't swiping left I'm not giving her that kind of that kind of pleasure yeah so so that's that's kind of what we did you know we we sort of you know we buddy up with the guys and we wingman each other and we go out and we we, we go on the pull yeah and um you know it, it did that for for a number of years and it was you know, it, it was hard work. And the thing is, when you go out on the pole, you know, you've really got to have a strategy and a, a clear sort of structure to, to what you're going to do. And, um, you know, I sort of, you know, masterminded this this particular plan that I would, you know, sort of pitch on ladies. And, and it went something like this. It's, it's very simple. Drink, approach, let rip, engage, yeah? And it's like eat, sleep, re repeat, yeah? And that, that is that is what I did, yeah? That was that was kind of my thing. And it's that middle one there. Let rip on dance, so on, leave. That, that really got to me. The other three, fucking brilliant to them, right? But that middle one there, yeah? Because the problem is, that's the bit in the night where you've got to go on the dance floor and you've got to Im impress the lady, yeah? You've got to bring something to the table, yeah? And, and you know, it's really difficult because and I remember my friend coming over and I was with a girl and it was going really well. And um, he said, right, all you got to do is give her the Swayze treatment. You just got to be Patrick Swayze. And it sounds so simple, yeah? But it's not. It's fucking ridiculous, right? And this is my beef now, right? The popular culture, the media and all that have set the bar so high with people like, you know, Patrick Swayze, you know, uh, you know rest in peace, Patrick. Um, and, you know, other sort of celebrities like, you know, like John Travolta in Greece and, you know, your modern day ones like your Derulos and your Ryan Gosling, you know. And, you know, they've, they've got swagger, they've got style, they can spin leads and be on the dance floor. And that is the level that women expect of me. And I am none of those things. I, I can't do that thing. I, I've got long legs. I've got no balance. I'm a very anxious person. I, I high center of gravity. I, I cannot dance. I cannot impress women. That is just not my forte. But sadly, that is the game I was playing. Yeah, I, I had to come up with something to go and, and say, I am worthy, lady. Yeah. So I had to kind of develop a, a dance tree that, that suited my, my traits. And, and it went something like this. Yeah. So I would, I would kind of get like a kind of steady stance. And I would to start, start wiggling the hips like that, yeah? And then I get, I get the old right arm on the go, yeah? And, it, and then get a bit, get a bit pout on the go. And then start, start bringing the arms in like that, right? And, and just, and as I drank more, it just, just got more vigorous, yeah? And, 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 th and this is going on longer than it should have, right? And so it just, that's just what the night felt like as well, yeah? And, and, that, and that was it, you know? And that was this for fucking four hours, you know? And, and that is what I had. That is that is all I, c I could offer. Um, and, and and it was it was hard work, like you know. And, and the thing is, like once you've picked, once you've seen the women as well, like you know, there are thousands of women in Cardiff to pick from, and there's so many different types of women. And once you've got your thing, your style, you got you got to approach these different women. And like I said, there's loads of different types. Um, if I wait for the slide, this is going a bit long. So you got you got milling lingers, right? You 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 high your blue chip high end clientele, you know, two two vodka martinis on it, and there's not a lot of movement with these guys. It's very sort of like sway, very slow dancing. Yeah, you know, so you got to you got to adapt yourself. So, you know, you if you if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, you push up the great fire grinders, yeah, your glams. Your tigers, yeah? You know, R. Kelly said, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of bump and grind, right? No, there is everything fucking wrong with a little bit of bump and grind, right? I remember one woman sort of backing into my fucking knees and I was hanging over her like Lou Chartres in a rolling mall. It was just impressive. <laughs> you won't be wonders, yeah? You know, bit of sniff, bit of puff, bit of sway, bit of head hop, bit of slut drop, you know? A lot of angles to negotiate with that one, yeah? You know, and you have, constantly having to like sort of rejig this, this sort of dance, you know? And then the pièce de at the end, then the match they mercenaries, yeah? <laughs> The Massey Mercies, Pia Serawanan, starting the fucking conga. Bloody, yeah, give me it, right? And, and the, you know, and these are just four of the thousands of types of different women and styles of stuff, you know. And the problem is, like, you're going out and, and it's, it's hard work, you know. Somebody's trying to, you know, you've got this dance, you're trying to fit with her, and it's just, oh, it's, all, it's just fucking awkward, right, you know. And it took me a long time, it took me four years, actually, four years to realize that, Dale, you're not Patrick Swayze, yeah? You're not this kind of, like, charming, sort of over the top, you know, pick you up, throw you all over the place kind of guy. You're Dale, right? You, you know, you're just this weird, sort of, quite, Awkward nerds, but that's that's okay, yeah. And I, I love this quote online, yeah. It's I'd rather be someone's um, shot of whiskey than everyone's cup of tea. Yeah? I think that's such a beautiful quote, yeah. So, girls, I'm just gonna say to you now, right? If you're if you're out on a night out, right, 
And, you know, you see a guy dancing, right, and, and he's on his own, or right? like, go over and have a dance with him, because I can guarantee you know, he's, he's fucking dying inside, right? I can tell you that now, right? <laughs> and guys, guys, I just, just want to let you know, like, just ignore all this bullshit sort of mainstream crap that's pumped at us in the media. Like, you've got to look like this, you've got to move and dance and stuff. Like, just be fucking self, yeah? And you will, you will eventually, if you work hard enough, you'll find someone who appreciates you for, really you, are, for who you really are. So, Ignite, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. Mm.